Next week's launch will be the culmination of a nearly nine-year journey. That's when the shuttle program ended with a final launch of Atlantis. But that end was the beginning of a new era in space exploration, bringing new partnerships with private space firms and technological innovations, making rocket launches a near monthly mm -hmm. occurrence now. News 6's Eric Von Anken is live at Kennedy Space Center for us tonight to show us how we got here to the return of human spaceflight from U.S. soil the way it should be, Eric. You got it, Matt. It has been about half a century of space flight that has gotten us to where we are today. But as you say, the big developments have really happened over the past decade. And every step of the way, New Six and I have been right here at the Kennedy Space Center bringing you those developments. We went back through our archives for you. The space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. We all knew it was a matter of time until the space shuttle program would come to an end. It seems the reality of the finality, at least here at KSC, is starting to really set in. NASA knew it. Right now, hundreds of workers are getting to see Atlantis up close, and for many of them, today is their last day of work here. The thousands of shuttle workers who would lose their jobs knew it, and our leaders knew it. The space shuttle, for all it did for humanity, delivering a galaxy-hunting telescope and building the International Space Station. Atlantis has flown more than 126 million miles. That's like going from here to the moon, back and forth, more than 500 times. The shuttle was complicated with more than 2 million moving parts and required extensive maintenance, especially as the fleet grew older. It was costly in terms of human lives and averaging around a billion bucks per launch. And the shuttles were never meant to explore deep space. Remember this started in 1981, April 12th, 1981. From those launch pads behind me is when shuttle Columbia first lifted off. In 2004, President Bush made it official canceling the space shuttle program. Atlantis is coming home and it's coming home here. In 2011, Atlantis closed out decades of discovery, American ingenuity, and a leading role in space. You have just witnessed the end of an era. With wheel stop here on Atlantis, this closes a program 30 years in the making. When Atlantis touched down for the final time at the Kennedy Space Center, America suddenly had no way to go to the International Space Station except for relying on Russia. We all knew it would end. We just didn't know what would come next. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling. It was a very dark, uncertain time here on the Space Coast. If you were here then, you live through it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What would come next was the pivot to commercial space, from public to private. That's what ultimately got us where we are today. That part of the story, another part two of my special reporting here from the Kennedy Space Center, when I see you again tomorrow afternoon from right here. But for now, live at KSC, Eric Von Aiken getting results. New six. Yeah, Eric, we had no idea when Atlantis landed what would happen after that. By the way, you get better with age, my friend. I can't say the same for myself. <laughs> that was quite a walk down memory it lane, was. too. We got to see a baby Matt. Yeah, that's a baby Matt and baby <laughs> Eric out there covering the shuttle. Nice landing. job.